Hello and welcome to yet another tutorial by Davies Media Design. My name is Mike Davies and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to report bugs for GIMP. Did I get it? But of course, before I get into that, don't forget to check out my website at daviesmediadesign.com. As always, I have tons of GIMP and Inkscape tutorials on here. You can get more by becoming a DMD Premium member. And I have tons of free software help articles, so definitely check that out. You can enroll in my GIMP 2.10 Masterclass from Beginner to Pro Photo Editing on Udemy. You can enroll in any of my Skillshare classes by visiting GIMPschool.com. And you can get more with a premium membership to Davies Media Design. And I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. So bugs are basically going to be any sort of glitch you come across when working inside a GIMP or maybe something that's broken in GIMP. Maybe also GIMP crashes when you're trying to perform some sort of action. But I do want to differentiate that sometimes there is something that you don't know how to do inside a GIMP and so you assume GIMP is broken. However, it may just be that you need to learn how to do that thing that you're trying to do properly. For that case, I recommend checking out my tutorials on YouTube or on my website. And you can also send me a message directly on my website if you have a specific question. So for example, here is my contact form on my website. You can fill that in and ask me a question down below. You'll also see I have frequently asked questions here for common issues people have with GIMP. But if you are sure you are experiencing a bug inside a GIMP, so something is broken, it's not working the way it's intended, you can then go to GIMP's bug reporting page and report a bug directly to the GIMP development team. So this is GIMP GIMP's bug reporting page. It's located at gimp.org slash bugs. I'll include a link to this in the description of the video. But here you can see some descriptions on how to report bugs, what bugs are, as well as lists of known bugs inside a GIMP. And a handy feature for finding out if your bug has already been reported is this right here, the search for an existing bug feature. So for example, let's type in foreground select tool this tool did have a bug inside of GIMP 2.10.20. They fixed it with GIMP 2.10.22. That's another important point is that usually when you update your GIMP to the latest version, your bugs will be fixed. But let's say we want to search for this bug and see if anybody has reported anything to do with the foreground select tool. So I'll come over here and hit submit. Here you'll see all of the bugs that have been reported for that specific feature. So you can see there are a variety of bugs. And these bugs typically have some sort of categorization associated with them. These are assigned by the GIMP developers, the moderators of the GIMP genome page here. And the ones that are closed usually mean they are resolved. And let's just click inside of here. So you can see there's some information regarding this bug, the labels that were placed on here by the moderators or the developers. And this one seems to be somewhat technical here. But you can see the activity on here, people comment on here letting you know what's going on. And you can also reply with your own comments below. But let's go back to the GIMP bug page. So gimp.org slash bugs, hit the enter key. And something else I wanna note is that you can access this page from GIMP directly. So this is GIMP 2.99.2, which is like the beta version for GIMP 3.0. But this is also available inside of older versions. So let's go to the help menu here. And you can come down here to bug reports and feature requests. So when I click on that, that should open up the GIMP genome bug page inside of your browser. And then you can just come over here and click the new issue option. And for those of you who have never used the GIMP bug reporting feature, you're probably going to be taken to a page where you're gonna be asked to sign in. So this is gonna be the sign in page for those of you who have never used this feature. I recommend just signing in with Google. That's the quickest way to do this, but you can also do it via GitHub or GitLab but it's totally free to sign up with this and it's super quick. So once you're signed in, you can report your bug. So the bug I'll be reporting for today's tutorial is that when I try to select multiple layers inside of GIMP 2.99.2, it actually automatically adds a layer mask to the first layer that I'm trying to select. Let me show you what I mean. So I'll come over here inside of GIMP 2.99.2. So over here, I have three layers inside of my layers panel. So if I wanted to select the background two, number one, background two, and background layer, I can click on any one of these layers. So let's just go with the top layer for now. And when I shift and then click on the bottom layer, that will select all three layers, but it'll also add a layer mask here to that first layer. So in my opinion, that's a bug right there. 
That's not a behavior that I would expect from here. So let me just come over here and minimize this. So first off, when I'm reporting a bug, I need to come up with a title. So I'm gonna go with layer mask added to first layer when selecting multiple layers with shift. And let me just add shortcut key. All right, so that is gonna be the title of my bug. The next option here is to choose the type. So always go with issue when you are reporting a bug, at least that's what I do. Next, it's gonna ask me to choose a template for the description. So they have templates here for various issues you wanna report or requests you wanna make. So for example, we have the bug template, which is what we're gonna use. If you're gonna ask for a new feature, you can go with the feature template. If you are going to request a feature, I recommend that you stay away from the common features that everybody's talking about. So for example, non-destructive layers. I think the GIMP development team is aware of that feature that's being requested by everybody. So it's just going to be repetitive for them if you send another request for that. And then you've got performance templates as well. So let's go with the bug template. And it's gonna ask me if I wanna replace what's already going on down here. Let me just copy my description I made earlier and click apply template. All right, so here is the template for reporting a bug inside a GIMP. So let's scroll up. The very first item here is going to be the GIMP version. And each one of these little sections has a title and then a description of what it wants you to do. So it says, note, bug reporters are expected to have verified the bug still exists either in the last stable version of GIMP or on updated development code master branch. So that's basically just saying, make sure that the GIMP version you're using is the latest version. So either GIMP 2.10.22 at the time of this tutorial, if you're using a stable version, or if you're using a development version like I am, 2.99.2. So I'm gonna come over here and type GIMP 2.99.2. Then it's gonna ask you for the operating system. And here it says some examples, so Windows, Mac, Linux, or all. In my case, this is happening on Windows. Finally down here, it says package. So that's just asking you where you downloaded your version of GIMP. So here it says Flatpak, which is for Linux users or the GIMP installer on the main GIMP website. So I'm just gonna type here, gimp.org development versions download page. And underneath it says description of the bug. So here you're going to describe what exactly is going on. It says here, please describe your issue with details, add screenshot or other files if needed. And once again, it's asking you to type after this little symbol here. So I'm gonna come down here and I did copy my description from before. So I'll hit control V to paste. So here's what I typed. When using the new select multiple layers feature, I click on the first layer that I want to select. Then I hold the shift key and click to select the last layer I want to select along with all the layers in between. All the layers I wanted to select are now selected. However, the first layer I clicked on also has a layer mask added to it with the previous layer mask settings. Because the shortcut key to add a layer mask with previous settings to any layer is shift click. This behavior should be disabled when selecting multiple layers to prevent an unwanted layer mask from being added to the first layer. So I'm usually pretty descriptive with my bugs when I'm reporting them. You guys can be as concise or descriptive as you want. I don't recommend coming up with like a 10 page reason for your bug or a 10 page description for your bug. Try to keep it somewhat concise. So maybe a paragraph or two sentences, three sentences, whatever is enough to get your point across. So below that it says reproduction. So this is going to be asking you how often this happens as well as the steps you need to take in order to produce this bug. So this helps the developers go through the steps you describe and produce the bugs for themselves. So is the bug reproducible? Next to here, I'll type always. Your options are right here, always, randomly, or happened only once. So I'll type always. And then the reproduction steps. The first step is create three or more layers in the layer panel. I guess this does work with just two layers, so we can put two or more layers. And then the next step, select first layer. The third step, shift click on last layer, select. So first and last layer, as well as all layers in between are selected. And then this isn't really a fifth step, but I'm gonna add it as a separate step. First layer that was selected now has a layer mask with previous layer mask properties. 
All right, so these are the steps for the developers to reproduce the bug. Next, we have expected result and actual result. This is somewhat repetitive as we've already described what's going on up top, but this just helps the GIMP team further understand what is going on with the bug. So expected result, all layers are selected, no layer mask applied. Actual result, all layers are selected. First layer has layer mask with previous layer mask settings. And then below that you have something called additional information. And it says here, if you have a backtrace for a crash or a warning, paste it here. So if your bug causes GIMP to crash, and then the next time you open up GIMP, it comes up with a pop-up menu telling you what went on, why the GIMP program crashed. For example, I can come over here. This is from, I believe, the Zamarmit team on Garen Studio or GarenStud.io. So this is what the GIMP crash debug dialog may look like. I've never actually seen this, so I think this is what happens. Uh, but you'll see here it says copy bug information. That's going to copy all this stuff here. And then you can come over here and paste that information here. You could just leave this at the default setting if you don't see that in your particular case or you're not really sure if you should paste anything here. And then finally, you'll remember that earlier on in here, it said that you can add a screenshot if necessary. So you can attach your screenshot via the attach a file link here. Navigate to the folder where the screenshot is located and I'll just double click on here to attach it. So there you'll see our image is attached. And once you're ready to report the bug, you're going to come over here and click Submit Issue. One last thing is that if the bug is confidential for whatever reason, you can check this option here. But I do recommend reviewing everything first. And once you're ready, just come over here and click Submit Issue. So here it's going to give you a preview of your issue. So you can make sure that you did everything correctly. And you can see here we have the main title of the bug and then the description, how to reproduce the bug. And under additional information, we've got our little screenshot. If you realize after the fact that this isn't really a bug, you can close the issue. You can also edit the title of your bug here, as well as the description. And you can always come back to the issues page if you want to monitor the bug. So here you can see, here's the bug that I reported. This is a live bug. And there's no tags on here yet because none of the developers have seen this. But typically, if they do read this and think it's a real issue, they will tag this. Reporting bugs does help out the GIMP team massively as long as you're not inundating the GIMP team with bugs that already exist or things that aren't actually bugs. But this is how the GIMP team can fix bugs in order to make future versions of GIMP better based on bugs that maybe they didn't come across on their own, as well as how the GIMP team gets new ideas for new features to add in future GIMP versions. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can also check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.